Okay, so now we're going to take a look at how we can uh, use the Playmaker um, actions at the same time as using the uh, standard component system within Unity. So, bringing back up the example we had earlier, where we have uh, we have these two Wise Audio components, and I'll just run through that one more time. So we have one component that when a collision occurs starts playing music and when the collision ends it stops playing the music. Now how can we use the uh, the Playmaker system to achieve the same thing? Well, let's have a look. So currently we have these two wise audio components and what we want to do is try and replace one of these with um, an action in a state machine. So what we'll do is we'll add a state machine onto sphere one and then we'll create a, um, a transition from the state. Um, one sec. But we want to add a second state first. So let's add a second state and we will transition to um, well, transition to the second state from the first state when a collision occurs. And we could do that with the event system. So what we're looking for is collision exit and then transition target state two. So now when when the sphere one when it's um, collider is no longer colliding, then state two is activated. So instead, in the uh, second state, we now want to add an action, and we'll add our wise sound. So we'll add that on here. Now, as you can see in the inspector for Sphere One, the wise audio component is using the sound effects um, sound bank, and it's calling the stop calling the stop um, underscore music event. Okay, so now what we want to do is disable this component to give a true test and let's give this a run. So as you can see, you can see the state system here lights up as you go through. So we start off in the first state and if we move the the, uh, the sphere towards the second one. When they collide, the music starts playing. As we back out, it moves into the second state and the audio stops. Now, because this is a state system, if we try to collide again, the music doesn't start playing, and that is because we're still in state two, and this has been triggered, so this will constantly now stop the music. Uh, let's, let's see if this works with one shot. And try again. Okay. Collide stops. Collision stops. Music stops. And it doesn't. So, one thing this doesn't do at the moment is allow us to start music again, even with the one shot system. Oh, I'll tell you what, I didn't save the uh, ticking of the one shot there. So, one sec. Let's try that again. That's my bad. Okay. So no music. Collision music. No music. Still no music. Okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, how can we get around this? Well, what we can do is add a, um, a transition back to the state one upon a collision entering. So we'll transition back to state one. And that should allow us to do this. Okay, so enters, music plays, back out, it stops, enter, the music doesn't play still. So why is that? 
Um, I don't know why that is. Oh, we've got one shot ticked for music playing. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So that does work. And let's try removing. I don't actually know how you remove a transition, if I'm honest. You can add transitions, delete states. <laughs> I did delete transition. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but we'll, we'll cover that another time. But alas, this does work, so you don't have to have all of this running from the component side. You can mix it up with components and states and actions.